station on your side. You're watching Weavey News 10 at 6. A new report shows members of the military have been scammed out of hundreds of millions of dollars over the last decade. Here in Hampton Roads, the Navy works hard to keep some of those scams in check. And your side's Chris Horns here now with more on how some businesses are off limits. Chris? Yeah, the off limits list, Tom, pertains to local businesses that have shown they're not above board. Nationwide, though, the report from the research firm Comparatech found our servicemen and women cheated out of $400 million in the past seven years. But help is available. Angie Ramirez. Really have, but sometimes you just don't really know if they're actually saying the truth or not. But and Spencer oh, yeah. Curran. Quite a bit. And there's a few uh, uh, car dealerships out there as well that are trying to scam uh, mm -hmm. sailors. Are both Navy E2s and don't want to get ripped off. But a new study says unscrupulous businesses are cheating military members out of millions of dollars. So we have great programs about how to be a savvy consumer. Karen Melvin and her staff help sailors and their loved ones keep from becoming scammer targets through Fleet and Family Support Mid-Atlantic. Financial counselor for 25 years, Melvin says military members are often easy prey because they don't read the fine print. Because they don't know how to negotiate. They don't want to read a whole contract. Uh, they don't understand some of the terms. Federal Trade Commission found that veterans are likely to lose the most in a scam. Their average loss was $950. For active duty, it was $775. But both of those were worse than the average civilian loss of just $658. The military has an off-limits list warning service members about deceptive or predatory businesses. Oh, it might be a drug abuse, an unfair commercial practice, discriminatory practices, anything that um, is detrimental to good order and discipline. If members then patronize those businesses, they are violating an order. Um, to stay away, that you know we're not we're not permitted to go there, and, and right. you know it's a direct order to stay away from there. Now, several of the businesses on the off-limits list include vape shops. They're not there for financial reasons, but because they sell substances that are illegal for active-duty military of any age. We have a link to the list, plus advice on how to avoid scams on Wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.